What's up everybody, Justice Good here and today I'm going to show you how to create the Lomo effect in Photoshop. Now if you're not aware of what Lomography is, it's a certain type of camera that takes a really distinct looking picture and it's almost become like a subculture of photography. It usually has strong shadows and really vibrant colors. There's a lot of ways you can recreate this effect in Photoshop. Now to start making it, go to Filter, Lens Correction. If you're using an older version of Photoshop, that might be under Filter, Distort, Lens Correction. Now hit the Custom tab. Here you see a little box titled Vignette. Now you see Lighten and Darken. If you slide it to the left, it's going to darken the corners. And if you want it to lighten it, you could, but for this effect, you want to darken it. And I'm just going to go all the way down. Now the midpoint, if you can see, the higher it is, the more of the middle that you can see clearly. And the lower you go, the more spread out the vignette comes into the picture. So you just want, I'm just going to lower that a little bit because I have a lot of open space. You don't want to cover up the foreground of your picture too much with that. And hit OK. Now we're going to start creating the Lomo looking colors. But to start, we want to take away some of the original colors. So go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Black and White. Now I set it on Hue, but I was just kind of experimenting. You can leave it on Normal, it doesn't make too much of a difference but you do want to lower the opacity down to about 30. Now that some of the original color is out of the picture, go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Curves. And under this bar, set it to Cross Process. Now the effect might be looking too strong, so lower the opacity based on how bright or dark your picture is. I'm going to lower it to about 70. Now create another New Adjustment Layer of Levels. And take the middle slider and the last slider and sort of bring them closer. You don't want to create too harsh of a look on your picture, but what you do want to do is gain back some of the contrast that we lost from the original picture when we changed its colors. Play around with the sliders until you get a nice looking contrast. Now we're going to add some special touches to it by duplicating the original layer and going to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. Set your angle to 90 and your distance to about 300. Now you can already see some of these spots around the bottom here are looking too sharp and aren't going to look good when we set it on screen. So take your black brush, turn the hardness all the way down, and start covering up a lot of those edges. Now right now it might be looking like a massive blur and a bunch of black polka dots, but once you go to the blending mode and set it on screen, you see all the black disappears. Right now it's looking pretty splotchy, so just continue painting away at all the edges, and just make it so that the only traces of this effect are a little bit here and there. So I'm going to leave a little bit on his paw, and maybe a little bit on the lion's face and you can lower the overall opacity of the layer a little bit to about 80 or 90. Take your time and give it any final touches if needed. Once you're happy with that, create a new layer. Go to Image, Apply Image. That puts the entire image onto one layer, so if you want you can give it a final sharpen. And there's one way to create the Lomo effect in Photoshop. Depending on your image, play around with the settings, experiment with different little after effects, and see what you come up with. 